Hi, welcome back to the course. In the last lab, we went over installing VirtualBox and Kali Linux on a Windows 10 machine. Now, if you're using a different type of operating system like Mac OS X or a version of Linux, go ahead and do a quick YouTube uh, video search for your particular operating system so you can make sure you're installing the right packages for that OS. In this video, we're going to talk about cracking a password with a tool called John the Ripper that's located in Kali Linux. So go ahead and launch your Kali desktop and get logged in. Again, the username is going to be root, R-O-O-T, all lowercase, and then the password is going to be tour, T-O-O-R. So let's go ahead and get started with the lab. We're going to open a web browser. So in step two, we open a browser, and we're going to search for MD5 hash calculator. So we're going to put a password in and then generate a hash on that password. So let's click on, I've got Firefox ESR installed here, and most of you probably do as well if you're just using the default Kali uh, version. So it's gonna, it's gonna pull up for us. We'll just do a quick uh, Google search for an MD5 hash calculator. All right, so we'll type in MD5 hash calculator. And I'm also gonna specify uh, online. That way I can grab a website that does it. Now for this lab, I'm just gonna use md5hashgenerator.com. So you're also welcome to just click the link in the document as well. So I'm going to scroll down because I know it's down here. There it is. And you're welcome to use whichever one you want. Um, at the end of the day, they, sh they should all generate the same hash for the same password that you type in. So we'll go ahead and click on the website. And I do want to stress to keep the password lab just so you can actually crack it in a reasonable amount of time and see what we're doing here. So I'm actually just going to use the password, but just all caps. So password with all capital letters. And then I'm just going to click the generate button at the very bottom here. And that's going to generate the hash for me. So the string of letters and numbers here, that's our hash. So go ahead and highlight all of those. And then you can either right click and copy, or you can just control C on your uh, keyboard after you highlight it. We just want to copy that. Now we can close our uh, web browser because we're done, uh, done with that. So our next step here, we want to save it into a text file. So I'm going to click on LeafPad, which is a text editor that I have installed here. And just use whichever one you have installed. And then we're just going to either control V or right click and say paste. And now we see that our hash is in there. So let's move back to our lab document here. So we've copied and pasted the MDA5 hash. And we've copied it into the text file, okay. So step number five, we want to save that text file to the desktop. And then we're going to give it this naming convention here. So P-A-S-S-W.txt. All right, so let's do that now. Let's go to file and then save as. We're going to select the desktop. And then we're going to name our file. So passw, all lowercase, dot txt. And then just click on the Save button there. All right, so it saved our file for us. We can go ahead and close that. You'll see it's saved on the desktop here. And if we open that back up, you'll see it's that same hash we were just looking at. All right, so we can go ahead and close that. We don't need that the rest of the lab. So let's keep going on our lab document here. So we've Close that text file. So now we want to look up the tool John the Ripper. So the way we do that, we click uh, step seven here is clicking on show applications button. So that's going to be this very bottom left button here with all the little dots. And then we're going to start searching for the tool. Now we're going to start by typing the word John in there and you'll see that it'll pull up this tool for us. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll click on show applications and then in the search box, just start typing the name John. And you'll see right here we have John the Ripper. So go ahead and click on that. It's going to launch the application. You'll see it launches a terminal window for us and also shows us some different commands for that particular tool. All right, so we've selected the John the Ripper application. The terminal window has launched and we see different commands. So for this lab, we're not going to do brute force. We're actually going to, see, we're going to use a word list. And the reason we wanted to keep the password simple is because we hope that it's on that particular word list. So it doesn't take too long to crack the password. So first we want to see if we even have a word list installed. So for this lab, we want to use rockyou.txt. So let's see if we have that installed. So we're at the command prompt here, we're going to type locate space rockyou all together dot txt. So let's go ahead and type that now. So locate all lowercase space and then rock and u all together dot txt. And then just print the enter key on your keyboard. It's going to run the command, and we do see that we do have that file here, and we see it's given us a file path as well. So we want to remember that file path for a little later in this lab. You'll see here in step 13, I also have the file path listed there for you. So let's move on to the last step of our lab here. We're actually going to type in our command to crack the password. 
So we see I have it listed here for you. I'm just going to go ahead and type it, and I'm going to explain it as we go. So we're going to type in at our terminal here. We're going to type in all lowercase John for John the Ripper, space, and then dash dash format. Again, all these are lowercase. The equal sign raw dash md5. So what we're doing right here is we're specifying the format that we use for the hash, the password hash, is MD5. So we could have used something like SHA-1 or SHA-256, et cetera, um, but we chose to do the MD5 hash. So the next thing we're going to type is we're actually going to type the path to the file, so the word list file, so that rockview.txt. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to put a space and then forward slash user, so USR, forward slash share, forward slash word list forward slash rock you again all together dot txt dot gz okay so again that's a fa the file path for that particular file that word list file that we're going to use the next step we need to do is we need to actually specify the path for the text file that contains our password hash so that when we saved to the desktop so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to put another space and then we're going to say forward slash root, so R-O-O-T, forward slash desktop with a capital D. So this is the only capital letter we're going to use here. So capital D, and then all lowercase E-S-K-T-O-P. Another forward slash, and then we're going to put the file name. So P-A-S-S-W dot T-X-T. And then just go ahead and press the enter key. That's going to run the cracker for us here. All right, so we see some output here. We see a little bit of an error message there, but basically it's loaded one password hash. And it's cracked it for us. So question number one here on the document, do you see the password? So if you remember, I typed in the word password with all capital letters. So yes, the answer to question one, at least for me, would be yes, I do see the password here. Now, if you type something different, if you use some extravagant password, um, yours might still be going to try to crack the password for you. But that's why I recommended something very simple that will more than likely already be on a word list since that's what we're, uh, we were using for this particular lab. So in this lab, we talked about cracking a password with a tool called John the Ripper. Again, it comes with Kali Linux. In the next module, we're going to move into fit, uh, footprinting. So we're going to learn about passive and active footprinting. <laughs>